nice comfy hotel room at the Rational Software Conference 2009. It's the last day and time maybe to look a little bit back on the highlights uh, that we went through in the last couple of days. So um, I went through several, I can several highlight, mention several highlights. The first one is definitely no RTC 2.0, which I'm, I'm the lead and I'm really happy that we have 2.0 just ready to ship. Of course, you planned for that. I have some really cool features in there, like you know, we scale up enterprise level, security, all these things that enterprise teams want. And we not only talk about that, we also measure it and prove that's the case. We have lots of improvements in it in the area of no agile planning, which I think a lot of people have asked us to do and make better. And I'm pleased that we could show that all live in talks during the during a conference. And one of the bigger highlights is also know that uh, our products are really starting to play together well. We call this then the CLM, Collaborative ALM effort. And we could also do a demo, well, it actually was a recorded demo, of all our products, RTC, Rational Requirements Composer, and Rational Quality Manager, playing together, you know, with developers, work together, link their artifacts, got traceability information, see where it's going, and so on. And of course, to enable that underneath that there's quite a bit of architecture that uh, John Vegan, our chief architect, can maybe shed some lights on. I'll say just a little bit, but it's really interesting because we went from a position a year ago where we were looking at how to bring these products together so that they can really collaborate and make the integrations that we need. And we looked at the underpinnings. What did we need to do to establish this? And we leveraged two basic areas of integration. One is um, open integration with any kind of product. It's an open industry initiative that we started last year at RSC called uh, Open Services for Lifecycle Collaboration. And that's really gotten going over this last year. And this year, we've released one specific specification in the area of change management, and we're leveraging that in the collaborative ALM scenarios uh, to integrate requirements composer, quality manager, and um, team concert. But in addition, that enables us to integrate quality manager with ClearQuest as well, and other products. So it's very exciting in that area. To be fair, right, you were, we as a development team, we were also not always sure, will this fly at all? And uh, we're really happy actually to, well, our goal is all not only to talk about it, but to make it happen and we de demoed it all. And I think that's always a major milestone. But yeah, I think it's not fair to just don't mention OSLC, right? We also need Jazz Foundation as some building blocks. Absolutely, and all these pieces, OSLC is where that specification took place. But if you look at the work around the edge to define it and actually to make it real and to evolve it so it ends up in the right place, that's the open services piece. Then we have the jazz architecture that we've been evolving as well over these last several years from our initial um, work building RTC and continue to build and evolve it as Eric has talked about what we have there but also now as we're expanding it to support both the products that are part of the collaborative ALM scenarios but some of the new ones that are just now coming out. We have Rational Insight uh, to support cross-product uh, measurements and provide a warehouse behind that uh, but also some additional effort that we're working on in the area of project management uh, coming forward. So lots of areas as we fill out the life cycle, um, both now but over the next next few years. I mean, just one of the building blocks is this all pricing from a dashboard that Jazz Foundation provides it that gives you really this ability to see the data the way you want to see it. And actually, it's not only us that can look at it, you can look <coughs> at it as well, given that we do all these efforts, as John mentioned, actually in in the public on Jazz.net. We have revamped Jazz.net. It has a new, beautiful look and much more content. And you can see our dashboards, track how we're doing. So actually, it's almost boring, right? We cannot tell you anything that you cannot find out yourselves on Jazz.net. So there's information about Calm, information about, about all the products John mentioned. So see the Jazz products, uh, see the plans for what's happening next, and see how to use them today. Not needing to wait just for the future, but actually to put them to use today. And if you haven't done so yet, download RTC Tool and give it a try.